Hey everybody, this is my studio tour. First thing I want to show you is my acoustic blankets and panels. They will help you with sound absorption and reflection since you want an accurate, less reverberant home studio. Next we have corner bass traps as well as regular bass traps. These will help absorb the lower frequencies to allow a more accurate bass response within your room. I bought these two hard drive enclosures for Ableton. Uh, one is for all my sounds and one is for all my projects. For my system, I have the late 2018 Mac Mini. It's a six core base model with 256 gigs of internal storage and 32 gigs of RAM. I keep most of my equipment on this shelf from Ikea. It's a nice six tier shelf and almost acts as a mini diffuser on the back wall behind me. I recently got this keyboard off Reverb for a decent price, brand new. I've always worked with Native Instruments software in the past, so I wanted to dive even deeper with the strong integration by using this keyboard. I haven't utilized all the features of this device, but the hardware is top notch. The keys feel great and the light guide is a nice plus. I also like how many manufacturers are utilizing the contact engine. Those sounds integrate well with the complete control software bundled with this keyboard. These are the two mics I use, the Blue Baby Bottle and Rode NT1. Both are large diaphragm condenser mics. The Rode NT1 has a very flat frequency response and less of a bass roll off, which gives my voice a bit more body. I typically use this mic when I rap. The Blue Baby Bottle has a bass roll off around 60 hertz with a slight boost in the mids and around four to five kilohertz. I primarily use this mic for singing. I use a universal shock mount I found off Amazon for pretty cheap, coupled with an Aventone Pro Shield pop filter. Metal pop filters sound a bit more clear than cloth when recording through them, and they're also easier to keep clean. I'd recommend to buy metal, but cloth works fine as well. This is how I record my vocals with a semi-thick blanket hanging behind me and the mic pointing towards it. This will help even further with acoustic treatment and sound absorption, as you want a clear and clean vocal, not one with a bunch of echo and reverb getting recorded into the track. You could always add those effects later on when you mix. This is a mic I use to record all my tutorials and when I stream on Twitch. It was between this and the SM58, but since the SM58 is $100 and this was $20, I chose to go with this, especially since I'm only using it for basic voice and it sounds great for the price. I also use a ProLine windscreen over the top of it, which helps with plosives and random breaths that I may do while recording. It really does help a lot. And I'm really surprised at how great the quality is for a sub $20 microphone. The boom stand is really sturdy and flexible and I typically move it out of the way behind my monitors when I'm not using it and then just swing it back over when it's time to record something again. This is my audio interface, the Universal Audio Apollo Twin Mark II. Since the Mac Mini only has Thunderbolt 3 ports, I had to buy a Thunderbolt 2 to Thunderbolt 3 adapter, but it works great with no issues at all. I love the preamps and zero latency monitoring from the console within the UAD software. Next we have my speakers, starting with the subwoofer. I keep the sub level quite low with the low cut around 100 hertz, which works great in conjunction with my studio monitors, the Yamaha HS5s. Although these monitors are a little bright, they do have a high frequency roll off you can engage, but I take care of most of the sound correction and sonar works which I'll show next in a couple of seconds here. Sonarworks essentially helps you correct any frequency imbalance caused by your room and or your monitors by adjusting the response to be as flat as possible. For example, if your monitors are too bright, Sonarworks will compensate and tame some of the high end so you can mix more accurately. The headphones I mix with are the Sennheiser HD600s. I chose these over the HD650s simply because of the comfort. These do lack bass, but Sonarworks has a headphone profile for these specific model of headphones, and it boosts up the bass quite a bit. Even without the Sonarworks profile, they sound great and are an extremely neutral and flat pair of headphones, which is what you want when you're mixing. My desk is a sit-stand desk from Ikea. They have a much cheaper sit-stand desk that is manual, which you can adjust using a crank, but this one can adjust with the buttons you see on the left side there. It also comes with a cable management net under the desk, which I use for most of the cabling for my equipment. It's a perfect size and fits all my gear no problem, with quite a bit of extra room on top. I recently got this extra tall monitor mount to utilize my second screen. I was originally going to put my second screen on the left or right side, but I wanted my studio monitors to be closer together and I think this works just fine for that. I mainly use it as a level monitoring screen which has my spectrum analyzer and volume meters running at all times. 
Lastly, I have a NAS device running 24 seven, which keeps a backup of all my music projects, samples, files, you name it. I bought it on Prime Day some months ago for a decent price uh, and Synology's software and interface makes it extremely easy to set up. Uh, I bought two four terabyte hard drives from Seagate called Iron Wolf. They were specifically built for NAS devices and they are quite reliable. But if you're not a fan of Seagate and you could always go with Western Digital hard drives and their NAS series is called Red. They are also pretty reliable, so you can't go wrong with either one. Thanks for checking out my studio. Uh, sorry for the lower quality since I recorded this whole thing from my phone. If you want to check out my newest song, it's out now on Spotify and all other streaming platforms. It's called Stay Here. Thanks again for watching, and I'll be coming out with a new video next week.